And so here, I thought it would be interesting to go back to the seedling king that we've seen handling a lot of different artifacts along the multiple doodles that we followed him in. And so today, we are kind of finding it back with the dying seedling that he managed to turn into some kind of tool last time we saw it. It's not necessary. 
necessarily a chemical, it's not necessarily a molecule that's abundant and that emerges naturally in this place. But so what we see here is an answer to the, this old question that we had, which was who's the alchemist? Will we ever find out? Was it a character that we've already seen or is it some kind of elusive new character? And as it seems, the alchemist is none other than our good friend the Sidling King, which by himself is still a pretty mysterious character. We know that it ended up emerging from the artifacts. At some point, we know that it's really unlike any other seedling in the sense that it can't turn into new species, new creatures like most of the other seedlings. We know that he's been around for a very long time, maybe as old as the first artifacts. Maybe he was already here before the abyss started to take over. But what we discover here is that it's this peculiar character that ended up creating, that probably ended up creating, first of all, the tiny flames, fire in the abyss garden, but also other trinkets that we've seen along the different doodles in the abyss garden. We've seen, for example, a few days ago, a special disc, some kind of, some kind of black hole trinket that gathered what was around it and turned it into its essence, kind of absorbing pieces of the abyss garden and, and summarizing them for them to be explained, for them to be understood. And it's really interesting because it seems like the Seedling King is creating tools to better understand the abyss garden to gather more knowledge and it seems to be a character a creature whose sole purpose is to answer more questions whose sole identity is to be extremely curious and to thrive to know more it seems like it's only reason to decide to survive so long it's only thrive is to know more and to discover more. And I really enjoy how it came to develop this way, how we came to understand the Seedling King as this really mysterious, yet quite relatable character. Because at the beginning, when we started to talk about him, it seemed like quite of a benevolent character that somehow probably wanted to help this dying seedling and try to save it. It had all of these different tools and it was looking to learn things and to somehow help the other seedlings. But as we get to discover now and also during the few, especially during the two previous totals, we get to understand that actually what this character does is way more directed by its own curiosity and not necessarily by its, by its will to help others, but rather that helping others kind of advances its own agenda. But so also something else that appears in this total are these two characters which are known as the advisors to the Seedling King. And it's actually characters that we never really went deep into. We never really tried to exactly explain how they came to become the advisors. But we can imagine that these two auras above their head might have been engineered by the Seedling King himself, selecting two seedlings that would follow him and help him in its endeavors and that's also something that I don't necessarily talk about a lot in these doodles but sometimes I kind of characterize, characterize things happening as being kind of magical or whimsical but in the back of my head I always try to somehow understand them and come up with reasons for these things to be. 
consume as the material gets kind of packed around it. This material is able to analyze it and to turn it into a summarization of it. And so I really enjoy this kind of mental, this mental game of trying to understand these different parts of the Abyss Garden as they come up in the doodles. And maybe one last thing that we could talk about is this fact that in the doodle we see that a few pieces of these artifact tubes are starting to leak out. We see some amount of energy, some pollen-like material that's starting to kind of spread out of different parts of the tubes and the artifacts, which might allude to the fact that this experiment might be quite a dangerous one and lead to or might have led to some kind of explosive reactions if the seed linking didn't do it exactly as it knew how to do it. So it does feel like there's still a bit of unknown for the seed linking himself as he develops these different experiments. And yeah, I think I'd like to finish on that, that I really enjoy this notion that something is only magical or whimsical. Something only feels like magic as long as you don't understand it. And as soon as you start to make sense out of it, the magic disappears and it becomes entirely logical why patterns are the way they are and why things evolve the way they are, why simply things are the way they are. As long as you have a hard time coming up with a point of view to make sense of it, it's magical. But once you find a point of view that manages to make sense of these peculiar patterns you're looking at, then everything makes sense and everything clicks together. And I feel that that's also a big part of why I like this exercise of doing these doodles and trying to understand this world that's slowly being created out of it, is I guess that I just enjoy to find different point of views and to see patterns emerging and to analyze them. It's kind of a really interesting thing to me. It really allows me to get lost in these worlds that previously only existed in my head. But now I guess a few people might also discover these different things, these different worlds, these different characters. But in the end, probably perceive these, perceive these characters and this world in quite of a different perspective. Because of the different point of views that you might have on it. But anyway, I'm rambling. I hope you enjoyed this doodle. I hope you're having a nice day, a nice evening, a nice morning.